This video is about some of the useful features of GuideEye, some of the very simple useful features. So if you've got a control and it's got GuideEye but you're not using it, you might have decided you don't want to use it for programming. But there are other things about it that are really useful. So if you go into GuideEye, um, everything that you do with GuideEye is still taking effect on this side of the control so if we're doing looking at tool offsets or we're looking at um, work offsets if we adjust it on this side of the control it's no it's no different to if we adjust the work offset here if we adjust it on the guide eye side so when we go over to guide eye um, I want to look at some of the editing things that you can do so the great thing in guide eye if we want to change anything for example that tool number there that's tool one now on the other side of the control I would have to put the address and what I wanted to change it to but here if I wanted to make this tool two all I'd have to do is type in two and then press alter so that makes that a lot easier to edit uh, rather than having to type in the T number um, and then the other good thing is that on this side you've got um, an undo button so this undo will take you back to where you were and you've also got this uh, redo so that puts it back where it was so that's the first thing that I really like about editing on this side um, but the second thing and the thing that I think is the the greatest of all is the fact that you get this explanation down here of what you're doing so that's saying that we've got a G0 x-axis absolute position we know that uh, then if we look at that it's got spindle speed and it's got forward rotation now it does rather depend on the way it's set up but it is telling us um, exactly what these G codes mean so it's really useful if you're a beginner to use this to um, uh, see what everything does and it's really good on M codes if it's all set up right it'll tell you what every M code means and if you're on one of these machines with a lot of complex M codes it's really good to quickly find out what they are the other thing on guide eye which I would definitely use is the graphics now you don't need to be writing a guide eye program to actually use the graphics so what you need to do is you need to set up your um, actual graphic shape if we look on um, at the beginning you'll see um, start and from start you go across to blank and these are your various blank forms and these are very very easy to set up if I wanted to do a rectangular blank form all I do is select that and then it just guides me through so I tell it um, uh, the width the length the height um, and the work origin so this is like a, a hundred mil square and my datums in the middle of it at x50 y50 and that's how much materials on the top so I've got five mil on the top I've been doing a bit of face milling here and then I just insert that into my uh, I've already got one but I'm just showing you how to insert that in there now that will work uh, you can run the graphics and everything in guide eye even though your program is not a guide eye type program um, the only thing you must remember to do is you've got to go in and define all your tools so make sure each tools defined so when you look in these um, offsets again the offsets on this side are exactly the same as the other side so all the figures will be on this side and the other side but what you uh, would need to add is if you come across here you'll see this where it says um, there where it says the type of tool so you need to tell it the type of tool and you need to do this um, um, setting thing as well so if we just come down one <clears throat> you'll see what I mean you got the type of tool there and a bit of a description and then this will need figure filling in on a normal vertical machine center that's always going to be a number one um, but and the other important thing is you must record 
the radius of the tool even if you're not using it in compensation or every, or anything because if it's a drill for example guide eye needs to know what that drill is to show it on the graphics and the other important thing that uh, I know when I started using this thing and I couldn't get it to work and I thought what on earth's going on is that when you put your G43 line you're calling out the length of the tool you must always call out the diameter as well so that's to make it work purely for the graphics um, it's, it's the same as you use a D number when you're using your 4142 compensation uh, it's just that you need to put that in at the beginning so that um, the graphics can see that actually actual tool and then you can run it so that graphic is well worth using even if you're not using guide eye so even if you're going to switch straight back to this to the other side and start running your program over here or whatever it is you like to do